If you've ever needed to repair a fiberglass tub, this video is for you. I'm How To Bob, and we're going to get started by looking at the hole. Someone has dropped something in the tub, and I'm going to start out by putting some masking tape around the hole, leaving a little bit of area around the hole exposed. The tape just helps keep the area clean. And then next, I'm going to use the alcohol pad that is supplied with the kit. Wipe down the area, get all of the soap scum. The kit I'm going to be using to do this repair comes in either bone or white, like I'll be using in this repair here. And what comes in the kit is a gel paste, some hardener, two different kinds of sandpaper, an alcohol pad, some polish, and a mixing stick. So I'll start out by using the gel paste, and I'll get my stir stick and scoop out about half of what's in the container onto my mixing board. Next, I'll get the hardener. And I'm going to put a few drops in here. You'll need more drops if it's cooler where the location is that you're doing the repair. And if it's warmer, a few less drops will suffice. And then I'm going to mix it thoroughly until I've got all the hardener stirred in. I found a good way to spread this on is to get a laminate sample. You can get those at the hardware store. It comes with a nice straight edge on either side. And I'll use my stir stick here and put the putty into the hole or the nick. The nick or hole needs to be 1 16th of an inch. So if your hole is not quite that deep, then you'll need to pick out just a little bit more so that the putty has something to adhere to. Once I get it packed full, I'm going to use my laminate sample to smooth out my area that I'm doing the repair on. Nice thing about the laminate samples, they're free samples and you can throw them away when you're done. Just a little tip from How To Bob. So I'm going to keep working the gel paste or putty into the hole going in opposite directions and get it as smooth as I can. I want to go a little bit higher than the surrounding area on the tub because once this hardens up it'll shrink a little bit and I can sand it down. Okay so I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. So I'm going to pull off the tape while the paste is still soft. And then all that's left to do is to wait. So a few hours later, I saved what I mixed on the board. You can see it's pretty hard here. So I think I'm good to start work on the tub again. You can see the patch right here. So I'm going to start sanding with the 400 grit. It's the more coarse sandpaper that came with the kit. And I'm going to use a sponge just to keep some water on it. You can see part of it's coming off on the sandpaper. And I'll continue to work and add water periodically as I sand with the 400 grit sandpaper. And I want to sand in each direction back and forth, get a different spot on the sandpaper. And I'm trying to get this smooth and sand mostly on the repair that I did. Once I get that done, I'm gonna use the 600 and I'm gonna spread my sanding out just a little bit, trying to feather in the patch to the tub. And that's looking a little bit better. Once I get, get it about where I want, get it smoothed out, I'm going to get the polish. And I'm going to use a dry terry cloth on this. And I'm going to buff that 
area out in a circular motion. And I go over all the areas that I've sanded to take out any scratches that I may have put in the tub. You know, just keep working the polish back and forth, round and round. And then I can wipe that clean. And I'm going to do it a little bit more. The more I polish it, the better the shine is going to be on the patched area. And the less scratches will show up. So I'm going to keep going till I'm satisfied with the look of the patch and the surrounding area. Just working the polish back and forth. And we're looking pretty good. A little bit more and should have a real good shine that'll match the rest of the tub. All right, once I get done polishing, all that's left to do is to wipe the tub clean. And you can barely see where the repair was done. So that's how you repair a hole in a fiberglass tub. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'm How To Bob, and as always, thanks for watching.